In the span of a few hours and within a mile of each other, four people overdosed on heroin yesterday. Two of them were inside of restaurants. Fox 47 Susan L. Corey tells us what police think may be behind it. Chasing a high without considering the consequences. You're a slave to that drug. You're going to do what it tells you to do. Michael Hurst has been working as a drug counselor for six years, ever since his son Andy died of a heroin overdose. He says when multiple overdoses happen around the same time, it's typically linked to a batch of heroin that's laced with something more powerful, which is cheaper for dealers to make. Well, they're making a bundle on this, and the more the heroin they can cut with the fentanyl, the more the money they're going to make. That could be why four people in Jackson overdosed on heroin within a mile of each other on Monday. We can't count that out. Of course, having four in one day is, is unusual for us. Deputy Chief Elmer Hitt says two of those happened at homes on Lansing Avenue. Then officers were called to the Burger King on Northwest Avenue, where a 22-year-old man was found unconscious in the bathroom. Minutes later, a 21-year-old man overdosed in the bathroom at the McDonald's next door. Hit says overdoses like that in restaurants or party stores are becoming more common. One of the biggest concerns is, is someone going to find them in time to, to call 911 and get, get uh, medical personnel there to, to help them. Um, we have had a couple deaths where they have actually died in, in a restroom or in a, in a public building like that. Something Hearst says all comes down to convenience when someone buys their next fix. Everything I need to get high is right there in a private environment. And when I'm done with what I just bought, I'm going to throw the, the, uh, the wrapper, I'm going to throw the needle down the toilet. And when I walk out of there, there's nothing anybody's going to find on me. In Jackson, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. Police tell us employees at places like rest stops and fast food restaurants where people might be shooting up should always be paying attention to who's coming in and out of the restrooms. And if someone's been in there for an unusual amount of time, employees should check on them. Officers are investigating right now and say they were able to interview some of the people who overdosed after they were revived. They also got a sample of the heroin from one of the scenes, which they sent to the crime lab to see what, if anything, it was laced with. Possibly carfentanil, an elephant tranquilizer that was recently found mixed with heroin in the Detroit area. All four people who overdosed in Jackson yesterday survived.